Hello YouTube, you may notice some uh, ugly white stuff around some of the icons, it's just that uh, I'm using a different method to record now. As you can see, no cam studio in the corner, no audacity and flashing on the taskbar. It should be much cleaner. I'm running a, not a virtual machine, but remote desktop to my other tower, and I'm recording that. So let's see how this goes. Welcome back. By far the most popular video on my channel before I switched over was the video on setting up a web server. That was the start of a series, I rambled a lot, so I'm going to do better this time, cover basically the same stuff I might get further. So without further ado, let's start this thing with our special Chrome. First thing you need, of course, is an email account. So. I'm just going to do mail.com, set up a quick email account. I could use Gorilla Mail, but we might need to reference some of this stuff later. Actually, yeah, I will use Gorilla Mail. Wait, no. Alright, so important thing you might not be able to sign up using Gorilla Mail because services have learned to block that kind of thing especially services where you might have to pay for something but we're not going to do that don't you worry let's see obviously the coolest name ever uh... what's today uh... july twenty second let's make it our birthday ninety six we're 18. So now we have an email account. We are a penguin robot. I honestly don't care if you send stuff to this or not. It's just going to be a spam account to make these videos. Now, there's a ton of free hosts out there. A lot of them run on the uh, uhost I think it is I can't remember what it's called offhand but they have the same sort of template engine the same sort of cPanel engine um, fab.cc x90x used to use the they have uh, they've shut down since then but the one I'm gonna use is the one that I've found to be the best serversfree.com and we're going to sign up One thing you're going to notice about these sites, they love captchas. Oh. Oops. And. as a password. Is that going to work? Yes, it is. Check your email. Oh, whoops. That's not it. Here we go. Confirmation. Clicking to Lincoln. So, let's make a website. The only uh, plan you have on service free is free. So that makes it really easy. 
you can't really set up a paid account unless you go to a different host or get... I don't even know if you can do add-ons, but anyway. Uh, subdomains are great for testing things. If you make a subdomain site, it's going to be your site name dot whatever dot whatever. In this case, it's dot bugs3.com, which is kind of a mirror of servers free. Obviously, not something you want for a business. Service free hosts on here, and signing up with it, you get this. Um, but if you want something any more professional and you still want to be free, I totally understand. The best top level domain hosting service I can find is .tk. I've heard people say that there's some troubles with getting things to work right after your domain hits a certain level of popularity, but that seems to have been resolved after 2010 or so. I haven't really heard anything bad about it since then, so I use it all the time. I think it's perfectly fine. So let's say penguinrobot.tk It's available. We're going to use our own DNS, but we get that information later. So domain penguinrobot.tk password hmm. you'll be able to capture on video one of these times when you enter the freaking captcha, captcha, whatever it is, and you're sure you entered it right, but then it goes and says, no, you didn't. All right, account creation is really quick. Hit view result, and it's right there. And uh, sure, we'll save the password. You probably have another email about it. Yep. Free account activated, and there's our name servers. For servers free, it's always going to be ns one through four dot free dot com. Oh yeah, this gives you uh, the option of a name or an IP address. It's easier to just type in the name. Let's make this a year. F V Y Z U V W L. Sign up. Don't need to share. Email address. we're signing up with an email address and not with a social account, we need to go through this. It's all dotted out, so you don't know what that is. You sent me an email. I haven't gotten it yet. Uh, we need to activate our domain through the email. So now we're waiting. Hopefully not too long. I might have to cut some of this out. Okay, for those of you joining, I got sent the email, it got bounced to spam, I waited around a while, and it 
showed the password and all that, and I'm too lazy to black box it, so here we are. It changed it. I'm going to have to change it to something else. You know what, sure, I'll save it. Now you go to Domain Panel. I have one free domain. It's going to expire July 2015. It'll send me an email like a week before if I want to renew it. I've done this, trust me. Now here, because we only entered two name servers earlier, now's our chance to add some more. So it's already set to custom DNS because that's what we did before. The two are already entered, so ns3 and ns4. Then save. So if everything is updated, this is the terms of service. Um, I might do a cap recap of it at some point. Just reading that while I waited for the email. Anyway, okay, this is going to take a while to propagate. It usually says up to 24 hours, but or 24 to 48 hours, depending on where you go. This one, it, it usually takes. I think two hours is as long as I've had to wait. So it's not nearly as bad as they say. Although, it, usually it has a message a message saying that uh, the name servers aren't pointing to the account, but in this case it is, so maybe everything is set up correctly. It's just not loading for some reason. Anyway, here we are. This is what the panel looks like. It may not be cPanel, but it certainly has plenty of features. And yes, I've used cPanel in the past. It's nothing you really, really need to, to pay for. Some people give it to you for free. If so, then it's fine. If not, it's not a big deal. So as you can see, this is good hosting. Good free hosting. It's, it's shared, it's not dedicated, but that's what you're going to get. And it's not really a big deal. Unless you're doing a lot of intense cron work, but you're probably not. So, low server load right now. We're on server 14. This is like a really small amount of disk space we're using right now, and we get 10 gig of it. Not that I recommend you fill it up with your own personal stuff, because that's against the against the terms of service, but if you need space, you've certainly got enough to go by. It's running Apache, PHP 5.3, MySQL 5158. You'll know what those mean if you need them. If you're doing just HTML, it doesn't really matter. For the most part. So here... We can get a file manager and install that just through the web interface. I don't know if it's going to work or not. Yeah, it's not going to work because this hasn't propagated yet. But that's how you set it up. <laughs> um, I'm going to come back in like in maybe half an hour and check on it again then. So until then, of course, so uh, right after I close out of everything, I hit refresh and it's set up. So that just goes to show, I guess, how quickly things can propagate. Like it's literally three minutes since I ended the last section. This is the landing page you're going to get. It's going to be domain name, free hosting, uh, server, 
you have the service free splash screen or whatever host you went with. It's probably service free if you've been following at all. Uh, congratulations, it's set up. Here's some tips. Uh, we're just going to go and just set this up my way because I've done this before. Over here, I hit refresh and here's the, what the file manager looks like. You certainly don't need to use this for everything. I probably won't. I think I'm gonna, just going to set it up in Notepad++ and we can do that because that's really easy. So, if you're interested, this is what the the thing looks like, the default.php, the source code. I doubt there's any sensitive information in there. It actually tells you right here, uh, please delete the file, default.php. So, we're just going to do that right now. And we're going to, because we need an index page, make a very basic index page. As you can see, this doesn't have any auto-closing stuff like that, so if you're really used to something like Dreamweaver, you're, you might get thrown off if you have to do some hand editing. Just, just saying. saved and now well that uh style command didn't work hmm it's probably something really easy I'm missing and it's just yeah Whatever. Like I said, very simple index page. And we're running pretty far into this video, so I'm going to cut it off here. Future Bears possible HTML, and this website is up if you want to visit it. This is all that's there right now. We're going to develop more of it later if I can do an HTML tutorial, but if not, then who knows what I'm going to do with this. But until the next video, on web at least, this is probably going to remain the same. Sorry this took so much time, I kind of had to, there was a lot of waiting around for things, it's probably going to be cut out. But I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope it's up to the standards of the last video I did, if not better. Hopefully better. Uh, bye.